Okay, so 22 karat gold versus 24 karat gold, which is better? I know the old me had a preference, and I think that maybe the future me will have a different preference, but in the meantime, only one of them requires capsules. <laughs> All right, so the question of what to buy, 22 karat or 24 karat gold coins, that still comes up a fair amount. And a lot of times, just to be fair, it's less of a question, more of a statement, because a lot of people, at least those who've already made a few purchases, they're going to say things like, I just don't like the way the eagles look. Now, if you were to step back and simply look at the sales figures, the two most popular gold bullion coins in the world are the American Gold Eagle and the South African Krugerrand. Both of those coins, of course, are 22 karat gold. So the wider population just does not seem to line up with the preferences of the majority here on YouTube. Now, my personal preference here is a little bit complicated. If I was to just look at the stack, about half of what I own is 22 karat. I've been buying Eagles regularly since 2013. I switched gears later in 2020, and I probably shouldn't admit this, but 24 karat gold coins just looked better on camera. And there are definitely other reasons as well, and I'll get into them in a minute. But the more that I saw them on camera, the more the superficial stuff started to bug me. So don't get me wrong, 22 karat coins look fantastic, and if all you have is 22 karat, then you'd probably never get sucked into this comparison game to begin with. There is a reason that I only have eagles on the desk so far. So I make it a point to ask dealers what's the most popular gold coin, and up until about a year ago, I'd never heard anyone say anything other than American gold eagles. Now I'm in the United States, that's important, but last year, one of the local dealers mentioned that he had more younger buyers coming in and they only wanted 24 karat coins. I'd never heard that before, but he also said that old guys still want the Eagles. So I'm not going to make too much out of that offhand comment from one local dealer, but I think that there's probably something to that. The older you are, and probably more specifically the longer you've been buying gold, the more likely it is that you started your buying in person and local shops tend to have eagles in stock. But if you're newer to this and you started your shopping off online, you're gonna to gravitate toward the prettier coins and there are plenty of options out there that are prettier than the eagles. Shinier at least, maybe more yellow, but there's something about the color of gold that will draw you in. Now as more than that to me, I switched to buffaloes for a few reasons. The first is pretty simple. I've already kind of said it. I just got bored of eagles. I had eight years of buying them almost exclusively and they happened to be at a round number. And then you just have to look at it and say, oh, by the way, buffaloes, well, they look better on camera. They grew on me in person pretty quickly. So at this point, an eagle and a buffalo, they're pretty much the same thing in terms of liquidity here. So there's really no downside to either one unless minor defects bug you. And the buffaloes definitely have those. Eagles are a harder metal. They have 3% silver and a little bit more than 5% copper. And just for the record here, the gold content's the same for anyone who might be wondering. But they're also more consistent. Either the U.S. Mint's quality control on eagles is better, or the entire production facilities and processes have just been built around that harder alloy. I've never seen an eagle with an uneven rim or finning, they're almost always perfect. Any dings that I've seen have come after they've been released into the world. So the buffaloes were an easy switch for me. It wasn't a permanent thing. I just thought that I'd stick to the yellower US mint coin for a little while, but if you were to go further down that 24 karat gold path, there are just all kinds of options with individual pros and a few cons as well, but really, once you take that step down from the regional mints coins, the popularity of them, you're going to find a lot of coins that are still popular and also easy to liquidate. In the United States, you're always going to find that Canadian Maple Leafs are popular. The general population, though, they just don't understand the value of a foreign gold coin. There are YouTube videos out there showing how true that is, but any local shop is going to be happy to buy them, and you'll always be able to find people online to sell them to. The same is true of Philharmonics, Britannia's, Kangaroos, and then most of the popular series coins from the big mints. 
I like Canadian Maple Leafs for a few reasons. Part of it's probably just proximity to Canada, but they are also one of the most popular gold bullion coins in the world. They're actually the first 24 karat gold bullion coin produced. And if you look at Canada, there are a number of countries like them that charge additional taxes on alloyed gold. So there are good reasons to buy 24 karat gold to go beyond which coins are the prettiest. In Eagle, for instance, that would be harder to sell in Canada since any gold that isn't refined to 99.5% purity gets taxed as scrap gold. Imagine that. But beyond the tax implications and really... That only matters to me if I think that I'm gonna sell in Canada someday, it's not likely. There are other factors like security features in play as well, though, and Canada really led the charge there as well. The Canadian Maple Leafs, they have the very detailed radial lines now, and they also have a privy mark with micro engraving, and that makes them nearly impossible to counterfeit. Now the 2021 Britannia, they took that even further with the hologram. They have the micro-engraved lettering and the complex field waves acts a little bit like the radial lines of the CMLs. You don't even need a microscope though to confirm most of the features that the Britannia has. Now if you're thinking to yourself, that is not a Britannia, well you're right. I sold one and I traded one. So I don't have any at this point. And it's probably a story for another time. I plan to buy some more again, but part of it was just that I wanted to see if I could sell them locally. And the dealer surprised me a little bit. He was more than happy to buy, more than happy to trade for them. And that is a little bit of a change. It's not the fact that I can sell them locally, it's just how willing the dealers seem to be now to buy them. They've gotten a lot more popular since the 2021 version was released. Now this might be a surprise to some of you, but the Perth Mint coins, they have security features as well. All of these coins here have micro-engraved letters that you can only see under a microscope. And security, it's not specific to 22 karat or 24 karat gold coins. It just happens to be that these 24 karat gold coins do have the features. The new Krugerrands, another one I don't have on the desk, they have a micro-engraved word under the spring box back hoof. And I think that the idea that younger people might be more interested in 24 karat gold coins, I guess, that part has some merit. I'm not sure that it's about security. It's potentially just about the way they look. And again, younger, that's not the right word. I think newer, newer to stacking is the better way to look at it. Those security features, they're gonna be a big deal to people who aren't familiar enough with coins to easily spot fakes and metallic scanners, things like that, that help you verify. Well, they aren't cheap. So if you take those three things, or maybe even three and a half things, you got aesthetics, possible tax implications, and then newer interest in 24 karat coins, and then that half, I guess, is maybe that kind of sort of dovetails with security features. Well, those three and a half things, for me, I guess I thought was a possible tipping point. And I don't think that Eagles of Krugerrands will be less valuable in the future. I think that's important to say, but... I thought that it was probably time to round out my 22 karat collection. So as much as I think it makes sense to buy the most popular option in your region, again, that's the Eagles, as much as I think it's just easier to stack uniform choices, for me, I had Eagles, the United States has pretty even pros and cons table when you look at Eagles and Buffaloes. They're pretty much in a dead heat for me. Now, I will pick up some more Eagles, at least two for sure, but after that, I'm not sure, and I'm not even sure I stick with Buffaloes. I think the 24 karat coins will continue to win out for me. So I think that covers it today. Let us know what you think, though. Do you think that the demand for Eagles and Krugerrands outweighs the pros of 24 karat gold? Maybe you don't even have a preference. Let us know that. If gold is gold to you, let's, let's hear it. And while you're there, be sure to hit the like button if you found any of this interesting. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on if you want to see more on the topic. And if you're still here, thanks again for watching. I always appreciate your time. Take care.